and heading straight out to Atlantic City. It's just about an hour and 20 minutes away yeah. driving. You can get to Atlantic City in a variety of different ways. You can actually go by train or you could take one of the casino buses out there. We've managed a shuttle van that's delivered us right to the boardwalk. Las Vegas it ain't, but this is gambling on the Atlantic at its best. There is about a dozen casinos. Some of them are huge, just like in Vegas. All of the big names are represented here. And there's also the funky, sceny aspects of the back streets of Atlantic City, if you care to explore those. But for our little excursion, we're just going to hang around the boardwalk, look at the piers, poke around in the shops a little bit, and pick one or two casinos to offer some money. There's a big convention hall, you know it's famous for Miss America. Trump is located up and down the boardwalk. There's five major Trump casinos here, but we avoided those and instead dove into Caesar's Palace. My personal favorite just because of its ancient Roman connotations and interesting quirky architecture on the interior. Just as in Vegas, there's reminiscent signs of the ancient Roman warriors, the chariots, the racehorses, the great fountains, and the splendid classical architecture on the inside, with also perhaps an offering of some good Italian food. Sure enough, we get in and find that a new restaurant has just opened called Temple Bar. It's more of a cocktail lounge, but they also serve food, and what a stunning presentation of classical architecture. It looks like we're back in ancient Rome with all the conveniences of modern Atlantic City. And of course inside Caesars you'll find a shopping mall, although not on the scale of the Las Vegas Caesars Forum. It's interesting nonetheless. And up and down the boardwalk there's a number of other similar scaled casinos that will be happy to take your money and give you some pleasure in return. They even have a ceiling mural in here that's reminiscent of the Italian Renaissance, updated in a modern Atlantic East Coast New Jersey kind of style. And so even if you're not a gambler, it still can be fun to head on out to Atlantic City. And especially if you are a gambler, this is the place to go. Each major casino has nearly a dozen different kinds of places to eat, ranging from the humble coffee shop you see here, to the buffets, to the gourmet dining halls. So you can take your pick. We stayed out here for about four hours, which was plenty of time to see the sights and have a meal and stroll around, do a little bit of gambling, check out the different casinos.